Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I am a work from home mom. If you want to learn how to work from home, looking to balance life and career, or you are just looking for advice on love, work, adventure, and lifestyle, then you are in the right channel. So keep on watching. So for today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most common question when it comes to applying for a job in not just freelancing but pretty much in all types of work or employment. So for this video, I'm going to share with you guys one important tip when applying for an online job. This could actually make or break your application. Short cover letters, do they work? Well, I just got a new gig and I'm loving it. And I think that you might be able to use this same technique that I use because it's kind of effective. If you want to know how I made short cover letter work on an application, keep on watching. Good morning! Another day, another vlog. Today is March 28th. Yeah, March 28th, 5 in the afternoon. I haven't slept yet, but I feel so energetic for some reason. Maybe because I got another gig, and this time I will be doing something that I really, really, really am passionate about. I get to stream, vlog, and play an online game. So perfect! Paano natin dadalhin bebong yung mga gamit natin? Gusto ko pa namang bigyan ng a little bit of sunshine. Hello. For today, Shanghai Bikang. Na gulay na may tulong na kaya kaya nito. Na kaya kang gulay. I recently saw this post about cover letters being short and sweet, and I was pretty intrigued if it actually works. So one time, because I have this scheduled on my calendar that at least once or twice a week. Magtatry ako mag-apply sa Upwork just to keep the profile active. Mag-apply ako for short gigs, ganyan. And I specifically remember when I applied for this job, talagantok na ako, patulog na ako. But since it's about online gaming, it's about streaming, and I know that I am kind of familiar with the task on hand, dali-dali ako nag-type. So what did I put on that cover letter? Sabi ko, hello, I'm a mobile gamer, a YouTuber, and a vlogger. Let's talk. Mary. That's pretty much it. Sent. I sent that 8.03 in the morning. I got a reply. That same, I think, mga after a couple of minutes. And I accepted the job offer at 8.48 a.m. So I was very surprised with the result. I mean, I know for a fact that it, it may not just be that short cover letter, but I have an established profile in Upwork already. So, maybe na-review na ni client, nakita niya naman na okay naman yung performance ko so far as a freelancer. But, the mere fact that that short cover letter work simply means na as long as you highlight your skill set on your cover letter, it doesn't matter if it's long or short. The main goal of your cover letter is to highlight kung ano yung may offer mo or may ibigay mong service kay client, how you can add value to the company, how you can help with their brand, and that's pretty much it. I started working on this project. It's supposed to be a side gig for three videos streaming. I submitted my first video already. I did my streaming na. After noon, they loved my work. And because they loved my work, they offered me a full-time work. Well, it's not really full-time, full-time, but more of, if let's say in the afternoon when I wake up, I have time to stream, I'll do it, and then just submit them the videos. And that's pretty much it. 40 hours. They're, they're giving me up to 40 hours. So, I was really amazed at how far a short cover letter can go. I think, I personally feel that I may be able to share this experience to everyone para matry din nila. Kasi, <laughs> I also got a question from Finding Maria. She asked where she can find my short cover letter. That's what I told her. Actually, walang, wala naman talaga akong template for a short cover letter. 
I see that they need someone who's familiar with streaming and vlogging. And that's what I highlighted on that cover letter. Pretty much I said, hello, I am, insert skill set, skill set, skill set, let's talk. And then sign with your name. That's pretty much it. Wala nang heme-keme, wala nang uh, paligoy-ligoy pa. However, I have a long cover letter that I really use when I'm applying on my computer. I have it here also. So, on my long cover letter, which I use as a formal application cover when I'm applying for a certain job, let's say if I'm sending my resume via email, ito yung sinasama ko. It says, hello, this job opening you sent via, and then the source, pick my interest. Five years of transaction coordinator for REO and eight years of BPO account managerial experience right here. So, dun palang impacting na kagad yung dating na, oy, may experience to. Ito yung forte niyang niche, ganyan. And then next is, after reading further details about the position, which only um, gives them an impression na binasa mo naman talaga yung requirements nila, review mo, and you are confident that you can get the job done. My resume, I sometimes change it to my profile if I'm doing it via Upwork, but my resume will provide you in sequence of details, my skills and previous tasks, very much similar to this one. Now, this next part that I drew, it's actually more of um, just highlighting my experience. So, I say I'm a highly trained virtual assistant for real estate, specifically for REO, an experienced blogger and email responded for a private company. I am very hands-on when it comes to social media management and is very familiar with WordPress, Facebook page administration, Google+, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Reddit, Quora, and LinkedIn. Actually, mas marami pa, pero hindi ko nalang din nag-drag kasi ito siya ganun ka-common. Again, if there is a specific platform na nagre-require ng um, knowledge or experience si client at marunong ako, ini-add ko lang siya in between. Next! So, nasabi mo na kung ano yung uh, technical skills na meron ka. Ngayon, ano naman ang pwede mong i-offer? I say here, I have also been proved to do terrific job in design, research, social media, reputation building, as well as admin tasks. Overall, my job experience has taught me the importance of accuracy and attention to detail. You will find my enthusiasm to this field and the likes inspiration to excel strong interpersonal communication skills combined with determination and discipline makes me an excellent choice for the job. Benta, de ba? Bentang benta lang des. Hopefully, you'll hear back from you real soon as I'm very excited to start with this project. Thank you. Signed, Mary. So, yun. Yun yung formal na cover letter ko. Madalas kasi, ang napapansin ko, base sa observation ko ha, kasi... I do remember applying for another gig and the client was from New York. The cover letter was also short because by that time I didn't have my canned note with me and I wanted to apply na, I wanted to send my application. So kwando lang yun na natandaan ko na sentence. That also worked. I got the job too. So parang sabi ko, Canadian, New York, parang di sila ganun ka specific when it comes to cover letters. As long as yung cover letter mo gives them assurance that you can do the job, they're, they're fine with it. Another thing when it comes to application, another tip that I can give you is, when you check for jobs in Upwork, mas magandang mag-apply ka doon sa kapopost pa lang, nakakaunti pa lang yung ini-interview nila. Kasi most of the time, when they just posted the job posting, online pa si client. So, nare-review na kagad nila yung application mo. And kagaya na nangyari sa akin, sabi ko, luck talaga yun. Kasi... Nagkataon lang, matulog na talaga ako, pero pinuksan ko siya at naisip kong mag-apply doon. So, ayan, meron tayong bagong gig, di ba? So, that pretty much is all I can say for now when it comes to cover letter. This may be just one of the many parts of looking for an online job, but it is a vital part because this is where you can highlight your skill set to the clients and sell yourself to the clients. Question of the day. During applications process, ano yung mga challenges nyo when it comes to presenting your skill set? Let me know via comment section below and we'll try and answer that on our next vlog. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you would like and share this video. Pag may kilala kayo, nasa tingin nyo the benefits of vlog na to, share away. Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on our next video. Bye!